Hey there, this is Gregory with Funnel Chats, and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a third party SMTP to your ClickFunnels account so that you can send emails through automation and action funnels. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it with SendGrid as I find that it has the best results of any of the SMTP integrations that integrate with ClickFunnels. And if you'd like to use a different SMTP, please refer to the ClickFunnels help desk or ClickFunnels support. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the account dropdown and then go to SMTP settings. You'll see that I already have a couple of SMTPs set up in here. If you're on the $97 plan, you can only have one SMTP configuration set up. And if you're on the Edison Suite, which I am, you can have up to three. So I can add one more here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to click on Add Email Integration. We're going to come down here and use Add Existing SMTP Integration as we're using a third-party SMTP set up through SendGrid here. So um, you will need a SendGrid account here. SendGrid does have a free account option. If you go to sendgrid.com slash free, you get a 40,000 email trial for 30 days and then 100 emails for free every day forever after that. And then I believe if you need to go over 100 a day, the next plan is about $10 a month. So let's actually sign up for this. I'm going to click on try for free. You'll see here, this is going to cost me $0 to set this up today, which is perfect. So I'm just going to enter in my username and password of choice and add my email address here. See, I'm not a robot and accept their terms. Oh, I have to do a little quiz here first. Hopefully I get this right. Perfect. So we're going to create this account and I'll have to fill in the following. So just fill that in and click save. And then you're all set in terms of setting up your send grid account. Couple things to check here is go to the settings and go to mail settings. I just want to make sure that this footer is set to inactive as we're going to set up the footer from inside of ClickFunnels. Another thing to check is tracking. You do not want Google Analytics or subscription tracking turned on. And some people turn click tracking off inside of here, but it should not. Uh, create any issues for us. One thing you'll want to do as well is verify your account from your email. Um, until you do that, you don't get the 40,000 emails for the first month. You're limited to 100 per day. I'm not going to do, do that right now as I'm not actually going to use this account. It's just for the purpose of this video. So let's go back into ClickFunnels. And we're going to title this. So I'm going to call mine just Sangrid2 since I already have one. I'm 
let's use .NET. So for the SMTP server, it's going to be smtp.sendgrid.net. The port is going to be 587. down here the username is going to be whatever you made it in your send grid account and then the password will be whatever you used as your password And then for the domain, you're going to want to, oh, this here, the SMTP domain is sendgrid.net. The domain, you want to choose the same domain as your from email, although for a third party SMTP integration, it is not necessary. You can have a different domain in your from email and it will still send. So I'm going to pick funnelchats.net, set up my address. And then for my footer, I'm going to use a little bit of HTML here. First, I'm going to center everything. And then I'm just going to set up my unsubscribe link. So it's a href equals. Use a merge tag here. And then in here, you can type whatever you'd like. I'm just going to put, click here to unsubscribe. And then we'll do slash A and slash center. And then all I need to do is save my SMTP integration. So now that this is set up, I am all set for sending emails. I can set that up, no problem. Um, one thing I will need to do is set up my webhook in SendGrid and also set up my white label for my domain. So first let's set up the webhook we can get that webhook from here if we go into the settings of the domain and it's going to be this right here so we can click this copy button right here and we can go into sendgrid And we'll want to go back to mail settings where we were before. And then go to event notifications. So we're going to turn this on. And the HTTP post URL, we're going to use control V to paste in that webhook that we copied from ClickFunnels. And then down here, there are a few things we'll want to select. The first one is um, dropped, bounced, unsubscribed, and mark as spam. So this is going to let ClickFunnels and SendGrid communicate any of these things that might happen whenever um, one of these things might occur with your email. So if someone unsubscribes or flags you as spam, it lets the two systems communicate that with one another. So we're just gonna click on this check mark here and that's all saved. So that is set. And then the next thing we'll wanna do is set up our uh, white label. And that is done right here under white labels. <clears throat> To white label, we will need to add a domain. So in the domain, just put the domain that you're using. So mine's funnelchats.net. 
A subdomain can be anything. Um, I like to use the word mailing. The only word I wouldn't suggest using is just the actual word mail. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do is scroll down here a little bit. We want this to be our default white label. It's the only one we have so far. And then we're just gonna click on save. Click on confirm. And this is gonna give us three CNAME records that we need to add to our DNS settings of our domain. So for me, funnelchats.net is registered through ClickFunnels so I can manage my DNS there. If I'd purchased it through GoDaddy or Namecheap, I would do it there unless I'm forwarding my name servers to say Cloudflare or another service that is hosting my DNS records. So wherever you're managing your DNS records is where you'll need to add these three CNAME records to set up your white label for your SMTP integration. So I'm doing mine inside of ClickFunnels. So I will go to my account dropdown and then to domains. Go to funnelchats.net, go to the settings, edit my zone records, scroll all the way down and I'm gonna add three CNAME records. The first one is mailings.funnelchats.net. Most domain registrars or domain hosts will, you can copy this whole thing and paste it in. It'll filter out the part that it doesn't need. ClickFunnels actually doesn't do that. So we only need mailing. So we're gonna copy just this part. It doesn't let us, we can just copy the whole thing. We wanna make sure in this name value though, that we erase dot your domain.com or your domain.net. So that's just whatever you want. And then the data, we copy the whole thing. So copy that entire record, paste it in here, and save. So that gets added, then we expand our zone records again, scroll all the way to the bottom, and we're gonna add a second CNAME record. So again, we don't want .funnelchats.net. It's not letting me do that, so I'll copy the whole thing. I'm going to erase dot funnelchats.net. I'm going to copy the entire data record and we'll paste that in the value. Save. Go back in for my third record. Scroll all the way down. Copy this. Paste it in. Again, erase dot funnelchats.net. This one, the entire record. And paste that in the value. Hit save. And sometimes it can take a little bit for these records to propagate, but usually it's pretty quick. So I'm gonna click on validate record here inside of SunGrid. And all three of them validated. So our white label is all set and we are good to go. So that's pretty much it. Once you have this all set up, you should be all set to start sending emails through either automation or your action funnels using your new SMTP integration in ClickFunnels. So I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, please just let us know. Thanks so much.